YouTube, this is Charlie426, and this is Gundam Log number 49. Now, it's been a while, people. Um, it's been a while since I've actually made my last Gundam Log video because I was going through a lot of stuff recently, so I was kind of, you know, having second thoughts of showing up on the video, you know, personally because I had to deal with a few people who was kind of stalking me on my account, so I had to deal with those guys for a while, so that's why. Um, I didn't. I haven't been making my Gundam logs for a while. Also, I really ran out of stuff to talk about, so that's one reason as well. And now today is a, kind of a different video that I usually don't do. Uh, today, I'm not currently building anything, but I'm here to show you guys of a certain kit that everybody is just so excited or you know wondering about. And that kit is the Master Grade. Uh, Master Grade Psycho Zaku Verka. Now this kit is freaking humongous. Well, not the kit itself, but I, I would have to say the box is freaking humongous. Look at the box. Look at that. Look at this. It's just so freaking big that I was. I, I'm not. Uh, I I'm kind of speechless when I saw the first box at the shop, and it's freaking huge. So a lot of people are now really curious on this kit because it's also one. Uh, so, same as the Master Gear Full Armor Gundam Verka, everybody was just so excited. I'm also excited as well. However, because I'm still taking my exams, I won't be building this kit yet. But I, my last exam is on the 20th, so I will be start building on the 20th. So by then, I'm pretty sure one or two people will be unloading an English re English review at the time. So I'm kind of kind of feel salt. Kinda, I do kind of feel a bit salty for not being the first person to actually unload a review. But oh well, it's just my luck. Now, a lot of people were asking about one certain thing, um, was the fuel tank that's on the back, and, yeah, it's, well, I guess it's kind of long and, long and fat, oh boy, that sound, that did not sound great, so, and a lot of people were asking me how long is this thing, so I actually, we'll check. Okay, let's say it's about 22 centimeters, okay? This is just the fuel tank itself, so with more extensions, and maybe it can go up to 25 or 28 centimeters. Uh, so do the math as you will. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are, are kind of worried about how to, like, display this as well. Okay, why is it not focusing? Okay, and a lot, another question that a lot of people has been have been asking me or kind of curious was uh, was about the decals because recently, well, for me in Korea, Gundam based announced that if you buy a certain Verka kit, they will be giving out those premium Bandai decals that Bandai has actually announced, but they weren't really uh, sure on how they're going to sell it or when they're going to sell it. But for me, I was able to get one for free. Basically, they were uh, in Korea Gundam base. They were going. They were doing a certain Christmas giveaway event where if I bought a certain Verka kit, uh, they would give the premium decal for that kit. So here it is. Here is the premium decal. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it has that metallic gloss and shininess onto it. This is just basically it. The actual decal sheet that comes with this is this big. Well, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it has all the basics. It has the number 96. So the only difference is that um, the major decals, basically, this one is just plain white, while this one is basically all has this metallic shining, shiny feeling. So that's that's basically it. And those who are wondering on how big this box is, is basically this box is twice the size of a normal Master Grade box. So let me show you guys how it is actually. So here it is. Let me swap, swap the view. So here is the box. Here is the actual box. Um, sorry for the lack of focus, but I'm just gonna show you how the box size really is like different. Okay, give me a moment. Let me just. There we go. So that's that's you can see is the box and everything is inside that part. So. I got the Master Grade Turn X for free. I'll, I'll get into this later, but here is the Turn X. The Master Grade Turn X is one of the big Master Grades that's not a Verkak, and here it is. It's Look at the box. It's almost twice the size of this box. To make sure, if you don't believe me, here is the Master Grade Full Arm Verka. Almost, almost twice as the size of this box. Well, not exactly twice, but almost fills it up. So That is how big it is. And also, another people were some people actually posted that those who got from I don't know I don't know where they got it, but some people would 
might have a special marking here uh, in Japanese, but but that basically means they got these special premium decals in that kit. For me, I got this separately, so that's why mine does not have that, just letting you guys know. So yeah, that's that. Let me just lower the camera and then get into like a, another story. Oh, give me a moment. Okay, there we go. We're back. So as you can see, you guys now know like basically how big the box is now. Uh, more, a lot of more detail to add. As I mentioned, when I got this Master Grade, uh, Master Grade. Psycho Zaku for Verka, that was my ninth Master Grade purchase. However, Gundam Base was doing a special double stamp event. Basically, you, you only get one stamp per purchase, but they doubled it up. So I got two stamps, so basically I was able to fill up my tenth stamp as well. And I was able to choose a free Master Grade within the range price, uh, depending on my membership. A lot of people were asking me, "Hey, couldn't you have gotten the Turn X and you know purchased the Turn X and got the Psycho Zaku for free?" And no, that the answer is no because the Psycho Zaku for price range, the price does not fit in that range. With even if I was in the highest rank, so that's why I did it. Oh, that's how I did it. Because, uh, so I'm not that dumb, people. I I do the math. I I basically plan my purchases every single time. I barely do you know impulse purchases. So here it is, I got the Master Grade Turn X for free. Basically I was tempted to either get the G Fighter or the Sinanju Stein Verka, but however this kit was pretty rare in Korea and it has been on my list and it's one of the biggest Master Grades that's not um, that's not Verka and also it has a very different build than what we know today. So that's why I went for this and I'm really glad. So basically I including the Gear Doga I got a few weeks ago, I have three Master Grades like being like screaming for it to be built, so I'm really excited. And besides that, besides the premium decal, I was able to get two more stuff. One is a, a Gundam Base calendar from huh, Gundam Base, and the other one is my personal favorite is this binder. It a freaking Psycho Zaku Verka binder. I am still using this in school or whatever. Um, I'm really glad I got this. I, I was hoping if they would made a, make a full armor ver Gundam version, which would even look better. Now, um, this is not exactly an unboxing video because I don't really know how to do unboxing. Basically, um, I don't know what the point is, but I will give you guys some information regarding the build. Basically, I read the instruction manual and I actually compared the instruction manual to a Master Grade Sharzaku 2.0 um, and I, I basically opened both instruction manuals and then compared them side by side and what I figured out is that the build is not exactly the same now I don't have a high mobility type Master Grade Zaku however I can tell you that the build structure is pretty similar however there are from there are some different minor details in the build basically for example the head has a little bit more different pieces the body also has a different piece because if you've seen the the movie or series of Thunderbolt, basically the cockpit, the inner cockpit kind of looks a little bit different. So that's why there's some different structures. The legs look pretty different, I think, uh, from the Sharzaku 2.0. The arms are almost identical, except for the shoulder armor. Uh, the way how they how they construct the spiky shoulder is a little bit different. So that's as much as I can go for you guys. Another thing, the action base that connects, that comes with the kit actually, yeah, there's an action base that actually comes with the kit. It connects not to the crotch of the kit, but it actually attaches to the backpack of the kit. So I find that pretty interesting. Yeah, um, I'm sorry if you guys are not that, you know, surprised because I don't really know how to do unboxing videos because I barely care. I barely even memorize how to build or plates or whatever. However, there's some... There's another thing I, to, I need to mention. There's some good news and bad news. Now, some people might be already expecting that, but we also get those garbage or trash bag uh, materials for the articulation, which is fine, which is fine. I understand that. However, the, the major part that kind of shocked me was for the head. Now, those who built the Zaku, Marasai, Goof, whatever, they will know that they have these pipes on the, on the head. And then... Problem is, if you built the, sh the Zaku series, you know they give you separate pieces for the to make it look like they're actually the same pipes in the series. But 
This one, they don't give you those parts. They just give you a thin plastic piece and you need to put this, this garbage bag material on it. So we have no choice on We have no choice but to use these. The rest for the joints, I don't really care. I don't think I'll be using it depending on how I about how my mood is, but yeah. I can take in the, the article or the joints for putting these materials on, but for the face, I was kind of shocked. I was hoping them to give like two options whether to use the garbage garbage bag or the traditional uh, you know the, the piping system that goes onto the face or the head but that's not the case so uh, let's see how it works out when I actually build this kit okay well that's basically it I don't really have much to um, talk about also I'm not sure how many people got the box yet but I also got this small paper regarding like there on the instruction manual there has been an error uh, they misprinted out one part of the instruction manual regarding where to put the decals, which is not a big deal. It's pretty obvious, but they just wanted to make sure, basically. Uh, I'm not sure how many people have gotten this paper, but those who know how to do stuff, it's pretty much obvious. So I'm not going to get into too detailed on this one. Well, yeah, uh, that's it for this Gundam log. I'm sorry it got more than 10 minutes, but I had to show you guys some stuff. So once again, thank you for watching this series. If you enjoyed my Gundam logs, please like them and also subscribe to my channel. I still have more kits to buy and build and make reviews out, so please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time!